Ladies and gentlemen, imagine the thought that runs through your mind during this ongoing pandemic. Are you feeling disheartened because the return to normal life seems slower than expected? We have to complete our exams, competitions, and endless weekly tests. But perhaps you've been blaming the virus, the state of the world, or the cruel hand of fate for things not going as you planned. But the truth is, we all face the moment that life seems crumbled around us, and we are left wondering how to pick up the pieces. Um, just like our topic today, Kentucky, we cannot repair a、uh, shattered poor trade, but we as human being cannot also put always put all ourselves back together. So today, I invite you not to shut shut yourself from the world as we delve into a different perspective and embrace what we are experiencing right now. Life, as Forrest Gump once said. It's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Each day presents a new adventure, and the unpredictability of the life is what makes it exciting. However, we always build barriers that life seems to crumble around us or hinder our ability to embrace the uncertainty. So today, to start our journey, I want to share my story with you. It was in a summer afternoon week vacation. I went to Sanya for Yalong Bay to with my family for a refreshing swim. And after some play time, I felt extremely exhausted and thirsty. And at that time,、um, I saw a little girl to、uh, with ice cream cart approach. And I just went there to buy an ice cream. During the process of of、uh, buying the ice cream, I sized her up. She looks younger than me, about twelve or thirteen years old, and with bare feet and、um, poor clothes. And like greeting at her, she revealed that she's from Gansu,、um, just walked there、uh, in summer vacation to earn some money for her, for her family. And then after she finished her greeting, her eyesight just、uh, shifted on my head. She said that this. Your hairpin was so beautiful. It must cost more than twenty or thirty yuan, right? But I didn't respond to her. I thought she's really a rural resident without any experiences and knowledge. You know the brand Miu Miu. <laughs> the hairpin from Miu Miu, just、uh, one single symbol crystal on it, is worth more than one thousand yuan. So that I didn't get any response to her. And just finish my purchasing and just walk away. And as the sun dipped low,、um, my mom said it's time to go home. Then at that time, I just adjusted my hair, and my heart sank. Guess what? My hair pins lost. So that I feel very very anxious. And then my mom suggests me that maybe I would like to go back and find my hair pin, but I think that was impossible because. Uh, in that hustle and bustle beach,、uh, this kind of little treasure would be impossible to find. So that I just accept my misfortune for losing the treasure, and I, I、um, prepare to go to the entrance with my family. And just at that time, I、uh, familiar Gansu accent just caught my attention, and I turned back. I saw the familiar face who. The girls to selling the ice cream. She ran up towards me and stop stop in front of me, and she breathless said that, "Hold a moment, you drop your hairpin, right?" And she opened her hand and give give it back to me. And、um, just at that, I barely said a thank you to her as she dashed away. Just at that moment,、um, she transformed from a rural resident. To someone incredibly beautiful and noble in my heart, my gratitude toward her just extends、uh, beyond finding the hair pain. It was a profound life lesson. You know, there's an idiom in China called 拾金不昧 so that she told me that the judgments based solely on the appearance and background was misguided. What truly mattered was the inner beauty, the beauty of the soul. 
Breaking down these barriers is essential for fully embracing the unpredictable nature of life. When we remove the self-imposed restrictions, we can just open ourselves up to the world. And by doing so, we allow ourselves to thrive and truly savor the richness of, of life. We know that life can be messy, always changing, and rarely perfect. And that's okay, we can still embrace the world, finding the beauty and authenticity in it. Forgive your past self. Sure, I know you've been made some mistakes or flaws, or say something awful along the way, or even be hurted by your friends, relations, parents, but that's okay. The only thing you need to learn is to learn from the experiences and just move on, let it go, because you have a good start every day. If you are harping on your past transgressions, self-love will be a short supply. There will be moments that you always think that um, you are less capable than others, but that is very, very normal thing. So just uh, give yourself a break, forgive yourself, and you will be the same, because you will do the same for someone who you care about. So please, do it for yourself. Know that you are doing the best of who you can. And next, we often hear the phrase, just do it as an inspirational call to action. But this kind of um, uh, call, when we are facing the moment that uh, with impossible standards or insurmountable pressure, it will be overwhelming. I know the majority of you guys like wearing the Nike shoes, but remember that we are not Nike brand. We cannot just do it. So. Um, just give yourself a break because we should listen to our inner thought. Um, do not force yourself to do something that is impossible. But I still encourage you to challenge yourself, to motivate yourself. But if you just force yourself, force force you to do something impossible, you know the process will be pain and the results always be unsatisfied. So then, it's easy to accept our fate and just let life happen to us. But I want to challenge you to adopt a different mindset. Instead of merely just accept what's going, consider difficult times as opportunities can help you to grow and change. When we face the adversities, it's a change to make our control our life, to learn and to evolve. It's during this challenging moment that our character is revealed. Treating difficult times as opportunities just empower us to embrace the imperfection and shape us into the resilient individuals. To conclude that, in our journey through life, you know, we often conceal our brokenness, the imperfection, because we don't want to share share them to the public because it can appeal our weak weakness and also adequate. But the art of the Kintuki, our topic, just told us a profound lesson. It's that to honor our broken part as testament to our unique journey and our capacity to grow and heal. Because embrace your scars authentically, for they symbolize the experiences that have um, told you during your life. They are the most valuable lesson in your life. The key to be happy in life is self-acceptance. Once you acknowledge that uh, the imperfections are the unique parts of yourself, you can progress to loving yourself. Because to pursuing the, imper uh, the perfection is always exhausting noble. And as I, as I just said, um, the process is uh, pain, more pain than joy, and the result will be unsatisfied. So just true, so just um, recognize your ability and let it go, because the true happiness comes from striving for excellence, not perfect. And embracing the imperfects opens the door to the journey with opportunities. While we can put ourselves always back together, and we, but we can still certainly make the peace of what we now have. 
So I encourage you just live your life with a box of chocolates. Each day there is excitement and the richness of rich, uh, richness to wait to you. And uh, although this excitement and richness, they're both perfect and imperfect. Thank you for joining me the journey on this embracing imperfect. And I wish all you guys can make the best of what you're experiencing right now.